First episode of the day, and on this particular one, we are talking about the Hillsong leader, church leader, Houston or Brian Houston, stepping down from his position, particularly very recently, over covering, covering, you know. So he was doing a lot of covering up, possibly for what? Possibly for his father, for some, you understand, that had come towards his father over there and so we're gonna talk about that and we're gonna go a little bit into the bible to some references of some things that you might see in the bible that actually speak on this particular thing it's the actuality show we do daily christian commentary videos and so if you like this kind of commentary do subscribe to the channel i would have loved to have the judge on this show on this particular episode it would have been interesting to have his perspective on this one uh, but uh, see you on the later on episodes that are posted later on around eight o'clock roughly about five hours from the time when you're watching this video so subscribe turn on notification and i will see you over there let's start this particular subject in the book of acts in the book of acts there is a narrative about two particular individuals a husband and a wife at the nine of Ananias and Sapphira, these two are, in, uh, are married and what they do is right here. Proverbs chapter number uh, 6 verse 16 up until 19, it says, uh, for there are three things that uh, the Lord hates. He says, uh, actually seven, hasty, lying, murdering, plotting evil and the eagerness to do wrong and uh, wrongful, wrong false witness as you might also put it but if you go back to that to that second last one right there eagerness to do wrong that is the one that we are talking about right now and it's fascinating for me how the law system can actually have its values or its laws as a matter of fact depicting what you see in the bible you have an eagerness to do something that is not lawful can lend yourself up in jail like Mandem right now. Mandem right now might have to be going through the law system. This is why he is stepping down, Brian Houston, that is. He is stepping down particularly so that he can deal with his criminal charges. These are criminal charges, okay? So these are, they are not saying, you know, we don't know. No, <laughs> they are saying you possibly potentially harm that you, uh, you could cause by doing what you were doing. So we might actually take you all the way to 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 jail and them things now so this part here that I, that's what i wanted to highlight it the eagerness to do wrong now this does not come only for this particular position here where he was trying to protect his father according to what is happening over there this goes back all the way into how he handles church doctrine if you go back into child uh, to to uh, to houston's church position when it comes to doctrinal matters he believes the muslims and the and the jew and the muslims and the christians worship about the same god does the bible actually align with that no the surah there are surahs countless surahs which actually dismiss what jesus stood for it says that they god does not have partners uh, but then you go into genesis the bible says in the beginning god said let us create so there you go you have partners with god actually announced over there and so for him to come out saying that about uh, Christian doctrine, it shows you that he is in the willingness to be wrong, to be in the wrong, particularly when it comes to the doctrinal matters. So it's not shocking that he will be in the wrong, willing to, you, you understand, but we'll leave that one for the court. The thing that I wanted to show here, eagerness to do wrong. The court sees the same way the Bible sees it. It is actually a thing that you can use to trace a charlatan. He is willing. He is eager. He has found a reason for which he is going to conceal it. You understand? Ananias and Zafira, guess what? They had eager. They had determined the back of their mind. Ah, this is possibly the right thing to do. <laughs> okay? The message comes through to the disciples and they are saying, Hey, for for this reason right here you've decided to lie to the holy spirit your life is required of you this is exactly the same thing that you are seeing here from a doctrinal position he does not stand where christians stand so it's no wonder he would hold lower standards from what is expected from a preacher number two from the law's perspective people are coming and saying their charges against fatherhood he says nah man them might not be revealing not according to me according to what the case is against him which is stepping down so which means these are very serious things to be said about him 
So what do we say about this here? Is that in a lot of times, the law itself, it actually comes back into what you see within the biblical narrative. And so we will allow the law to take its course because doctrinally, I, uh, people still go there, uh, even though it has been very clear that Hillsong has a very wobbled version of doctrine. Uh, not long ago, they kicked out one of their pastors who was popularly distorting the doctrine of Christ out there in the public. And so for the pastor, head pastor now to be stepping down because his standards also are not up to par. What can you expect? He's wrong in the world system when it comes to, to the law. He's wrong within the doctrinal system. What are you doing over there? I would ask. You can tell us down in the comment section. Is there a reality show? We do daily Christian commentary videos. When people are wrong within the doctrinal system, it mostly translates to what they do outside in their personal life. It's Ricky. I'll see you on a later on. Check out the other episodes that are done on this channel and I will see you later. Yeah, be blessed. Hope you have a lovely Sunday. Salute.